welcome to Network Nuts. My name is Alok Srivastava and I again welcome you to this beautiful world of Linux with Network Nuts. So live, love, learn Linux. That's great. So what's in this video? This is a beautiful view here with my Spartan hat. Can you see it? It's my Spartan hat there. So I normally wear this Spartan hat when I think that the students are going to hit me with hard cushions so to better to protect myself so why not use it just a moment let me wear my spartan hat and then yes much better now i will show you how to configure puppet and how to manage the ssh using the puppet classes and the modules so i think this is the best way to teach yes to hide your identity in the stealth mode yeah perfect okay so i hope uh, you can see the screen so i have got these two beautiful virtual machines coming up right here i'm logging it with though i'm finding it difficult to see it let me see till when i can bear this otherwise i can remove this but this is perfect for for, uh, for me right now so these are the two machines so i'm going to configure this machine as the puppet client and this machine will be acting as the puppet server as usual Hoo okay sorry sorry let's be serious about the studies right so this is it let me increase the font okay just tell me one thing I hope it it will also echo the voice and I also need to wear my glasses like this so I don't think Spartans wear the glasses uh, let me try this no it's not fitting up so I should better keep this there okay Spartan guy go here I'll just focus on the video okay just please oh yeah perfect now so the Spartan DNA <laughs> okay so this is the machine that I'm going to configure as the server so let me log in with the red hat user I need to install the puppet server here so it's a fresh machine so I, I will take a couple of more minutes to though it's a very good thing that you will see the in installation part also I'm using puppet open source here and it's good good to be back yeah 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 okay let's do a yes here that's fine that's fine in the meanwhile i'll go to the client machine perfect and just increase the font a bit use the red hat as the password oh it's not taking perfect and here i need to install puppet agent not the server so the agent will be getting installed here and the server will be getting installed here hua spartan here yeah. okay so so this is it so I'll just configure this machine as the puppet master so those who don't know this is the main configuration file for puppet and I just need to create a master block it's like your windows.inf file and because the communication between the puppet server and the agent will be based on the certificate so I just need to specify my certificate name which will be normally will be the name of your machine because I'm using a private CA like a private spartan hat there i should not be referring that spartan again and again right let me start the service puppet master dot service perfect i hope i'll just check the status of the ip tables that's great i love this so there i need to install the puppet agent here and if if you see here the factor and the here 
are now the by default will be installed i'll be coming on to here uh, later in some of the videos but not right now here i'll be focusing on a very interesting way of configuring your any server using classes so in this case i'm using ssh secure shell that's good so the weather in delhi is fine now we're getting a bit cold here which is unusual actually in the end of the january we know we normally have got a please a very soothing weather or a fine weather but now it's getting cold global warming or global cold whatever you say so here it is it's installed here so i need to configure this puppet agent also so the file will be same and in the puppet agent i just need to go to the main block and just write the name of my server where is my server so this is p client sorry p server dot example dot com so, and before i proceed further i just need to see whether i am able to communicate with it or not from this side seems fine and from this side it seems fine perfect so if i check puppet cert list hyphen f and all i have my certificate which is fair enough because i i don't have any client which has requested for the certificate now i go to the agent and because the file is already been configured i just need to start the service it automatically goes to the puppet server and send a csr so i just need to start the service system ctl sorry restart puppet right so that means my machine the sound that you are listening is actually of my laptop's fan so i think it's time to change it so if i repeat this command once again i should be getting a request from the p client which is great so i just need to sign this certificate manually because the auto signing is not configured right now so i copy this on i give puppet cert sign not sing sing is king but not here here you are king not me right <laughs> so you are expecting me right okay so if i repeat the command once again it will be signed wow perfect now when it's over now it's the time to focus on our module so what i'm going to do i'm going to wear my spartan hat once again and will show you how to configure a puppet as a such module right so time to get that spartan hat once again so before i proceed further i will go to etc puppet and which file say manifest and site.pp i just create this okay i'll i first create the module sorry time to wear my spartan hat yeah module it's badly needed so because i'm going to create a sss module so what i do just to make things easier i create a directory with the name of ssh inside it i create uh, two one more directory manifest as it is required and one more directory file which will be used to send my sshd underscore config file to the client right so this is the basic structure here so now i go to the manifest file and i need to create init.pp those who are familiar with the, the puppet modules uh, know that the execution of the module will always start from init.pp like in the same manner the client when communicate with a server will look for the site.pp so before i proceed further i think it's the time to wear my spartan hat sure yeah I'll, i like it i really like this it's a new way of presenting the videos with power yeah please revert me how i'm looking stupid or whatever not the other s word okay so i click on my init.pp and i need to create a class class ssh sorry ssh perfect 
because my folder name is SSH so the class will start from the name SSH now I'm uh, using a different approach here I'm creating a couple of more classes here so I use a class here so top most notation the class name will be SSH install right and it's a dependency here so I give it like this so another class top most level and once the pa package will be installed I need to send the config file so let me create a file class with the name of config class top level SSH and say service once it is done I need to start the service I'm really feeling secure from all internet viruses and all the things yeah then refer it with a capital A right SSH that's it so this is what I need to do only in my init.pp now I will be creating these three classes right and write all the code there so it's kind of a divide and rule kind of a policy rather than putting everything in the main class just create couple of more classes so that becomes much more modular and will be much more easier to understand do you understand yes okay go back to the Spartan mode perfect yeah it's funny but what's life without fun nothing man you should take your job seriously not yourself seriously it's what I personally think maybe I'm wrong okay so here now I create another uh, say file install.pp and I create one more class class SSH sorry install and here I will be writing the code for the installation so first I need to install the package right so the package name is open SSH server in case of Red Hat machines so I just write here ensure present this is what I need that's all perfect so right so save and come out from here so this is the current structure right now now I create one more file here say config and I create on the class SSH config and this class will be storing my configuration file and how and where the source is and how to control okay so I create a file resource here say sshd underscore config this this will be the title okay so this is ensure file okay what next owner I can control the ownership should be given to root as it is a uh, very critical file group should also be the root and you can change the mode also the permissions say 0 6 0 0 okay and the path where is the actual file the actual file will go under etc ssh ssh d underscore config and from where it's going to get so it's going to get from my puppet puppets and your modules sorry ssh and say ssh d underscore config right okay and this has a dependency because the the dependency here is that it should have checked that whether the package is installed or not so if the package is not installed then it's no use of copying the file so i'm putting up a dependency here require class ssh install so this install contains my installation code right and whenever there is a change in this file it should notify the service so I do a notify for the class SSH service so this I'm going to create after this service sounds good feel good look good and um, I think even I'm looking good in this I don't know how I'm looking but I'm looking very I'm feeling very secure who <laughs> are okay 
so this is the structure till now now i need to create one more file pp file inside my manifest with the name of service or uh, like which will be controlling my service how the service will be behaving so i say service.pp i'm creating another class ssh service so this is going to control how the service will behave so i say service and uh, i know that you know that the name of the service is sshd so make sure it is running right so i can check for the hash status to check whether it is already running or not this should be true has restart you can make it true no problem and enable should be true so that it should be available across the reboot and it depend on what it depend on the config file right so i can put a dependency here it require class ssh config say a service also close this close this right so so this is what i have done i'll just and i need to refer it in my site.pp so what i do now i go to etx puppet manifest site.pp just to make things simple for you i just write here include ssh that's it and before i proceed further i need to have the sshd underscore config that's the sample file here in this folder right so i copy this copy my ssh sshd underscore config here perfect uh, just make sure that the others should have the read rights otherwise the puppet will not be able to read it so i change it to 644 sshd underscore config and just change a bit here in this write anything here say one code that will tell me that it is coming from the puppet master right coming from puppet master in spartan mode wow that's great so i save and come out from here fine so let me just review what all i had done so first this is my puppet master so i had created a module named ssh inside ssh i had created two files folders sorry one is manifest instead of putting everything in the init.pp file i had divided the job into three other files install.pp service.pp and config.pp so if i just cat init.pp because the execution will start from here when i'm calling the module right so it just it first go to install execute the code from there then go to config execute the code from there then go to do to service and then i had included it because unless you include it there is of no use right perfect and i'll show you what i had done in my install.pp install.pp has has got the code just to install the package then config.pp will be copying the file which is inside my modules ssh files folder this file will be copied to this location and it will make sure that there is a dependency check the package should be, be installed and whenever there is a change in the file it should notify the service perfect fair enough and let's check the last one service it's starting the service and it requires the config file wow great oh, feeling like spawn here okay back again okay what what's here nothing i just need to give puppet agent hyphen tv and hope everything is working fine as per what we had learned let's see yo 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 okay be serious let's see yeah it's running it's running 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 my fingers are crossed and my helmet is on wow 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 it worked oh my god oh yes obviously it should have worked don't laugh look so my service is there so if i check the status system ctl status sshd running if i do a cat of etc ssh sshd underscore config 
this is my file which is coming that's great the time to take off your spartan hat i think so yeah welcome back so this is it that was fun that was easy so we can also have uh, the uh, package uh, or specific or os independent file but that that i'm going to tell you in a different video or in the in the next video so i hope you have liked the spartan of like avatar or, or the spot like the spartan way of configuring the ssh t underscore config or your puppet module for ssh so it's fun there are a lot of things that uh, we can discuss so hope to see you again very soon bye bye take care god bless spartan i'm stopping the video now